Los das. Los das! Sigrun! Warum atmest du so schwer? Ich weiß nicht, Mutter. Ah! Das weißt du nicht? <lacht> Die da! Abführen zum Feuer! Ja, Mutter. Du hast die vereinbarten Leibesübungen nicht gemacht und deine Weg nicht eingehalten. Vergib mir, Mutter. Ich habe gestern ein kleines Stück Kuchen gegessen, nur ein ganz kleines... Du dumme Kuh! Du bist eine Schande für deine Rasse! Und für deine Familie! Was werden die Leute sagen, wenn du in eine Klinik für Fettsüchtige kommst? Generalstochter! Das wäre eine Schande. Los! Warte, ja, halt. Das ist mal eine Backfabrik. Er ist da oben. Da bin ich mir sicher. Alle Marsch nach drinnen! Ja, Mutter. Los, rein, Männer. Ich sag ihn raus. Megafon. Somehow release our u boat once you have them. I can't lose you. You're weak, William. You're in no shape to fight. I'll find a way. You think your hero, William Joseph Blaskovich? Sieh den auf den Krüppel! Let me tell you, you're not. Only the degenerate rats of the slum admire you. The filthy dregs, festering in the ghetto. But once they see you, this will change. <laughs> I shall put you on international television. Look, everybody! <laughs> is, is, is this how a hero looks like? <laughs> a crippled wretch of a man peeing in a tube! <laughs> Everyone will see what a useless joke you are. Los, los! Resistance does not bow. Sigun! Sei still! Ich arbeite! Ich dachte, du würdest sie freilassen. Aber das tue ich doch. Ich befreie ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Aber du hast gesagt, dass Hab du sie... Hab ich dir das gesagt? 
Du machst deine Leibesübung und du verzichtest auf den Zucker. Was haben meine Männer in deinem Zimmer gefunden, als sie es durchsucht haben? Schokolade, Kekse, Limonade, Bonbons. Ganz abzusehen von den kranken Sachen, die du in dein Tagebuch geschrieben hast. Du willst sie befreien? Gut. Nimm. Nimm! Ich mach schon. Befrei ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Du hast mein Tagebuch gelesen. Leg nicht ab! Köpfe sie! Oder du kannst dich auf was gefasst machen.
You will not deny me access to my client. Did you see, did you see this? Read it. I am entitled to confer with my client in absolute privacy. You will need to call the judge. You will be looking for another job tomorrow. You hear me? Now you want me to see my client? Or are you going to test me? Oh! What is this? The... Take that hood off of him! Schnell, motherfucker! How's he supposed to talk to me when he's got that, that, that gag thing covering his mouth? Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh. oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But, hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him, and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator, and I'm popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down to the garage, where boom, Buddy and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. Go! Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's beat this fucking gang damn off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far. We make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was sp He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfrer kleiner Liebling, ich bin dein und du bist mein. Liebling, so lieblich und open your mouth.
The old and the weak are doomed. Let's do this. <sighs> Camera three, truck left for your wide shot. Stop, Gunther. Stand by. What? Look! Stay on the air. Go do what you have to do, darling. Jesus, it can't be That's him. It. Feeling it, General? Death is coming. Wasn't it too man, give it up for the fine young man of D. Capper! Best players money can buy. Please leave your tip on the way out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Welcome back. We're here with a true hero. One of the biggest names we've ever had on this show. The scourge of terrorists everywhere. General Engel! Yeah! Yeah! All right! Thank you! General This needs to happen up close. All right, all right. For you, Caroline. I'm gonna say what's on everybody's mind. Take us through the moment you executed Terror Billy. What, what, what was that like for you? you? It must have been so emotional. Well, Jimmy, I remember. As I was swinging my saber, I thought to myself, we are safe now. Terror Billy was a terrible threat to everyone's safety. A demon, disguised as a man. But I have proven that even a demon will fall before the righteous hammer of the right. Yes, 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 uh-huh, yes. And people of America, I promise you this. If there are demons amongst you, we will hunt them down! Just like William Joseph Blaskovich, they will die and burn until they are no longer a threat to the safety of decent folk! <gasps> you hear that? Did you hear that? Yes! 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 All right. All right. Wow. Powerful words, General. Powerful words. You all saw the pictures. There was a lot of blood. Things got messy. But through it all, all I could think was how this man took my beloved daughter's secret from me. I'm sorry. Oh, General. General. I think I speak for all of America when I say that Sigrun must be so proud of you wherever she is tonight. Yeah. She was always a little on the heavy side, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. And very vulnerable to bad influences. Oh, yeah. We were even thinking to send her to the euthana, uh, euthanasia program. Uh, euthanasia? Uh, the mercy killing? Yeah. Ah. Oh. OK. But, you know, then okay. she turned things around. Mm. And just when it happened, she told me, Odie, I want to lose weight. I want to be healthy and strong like you. Oh, <laughs> oh, General. Listen, tell me something. How do you stay so slim? <laughs> German genes and discipline! Yes! Wunderbar! Wunderbar! But the ultimate testament 
to German resolve is that Terror Billy is gone forever. And we, and we are forever grateful. Isn't that right, folks? Yeah. Forever grateful. General Engel. May I say, General, I have had many, many people on this show, but few have shown the integrity and grace that you have. And I, I am not just saying that because you paid me. A lot of fun. Simmer down, everybody. It's time to pay the bills. We'll be right back with more from the lovely General Angle after this. And we're back with more. You're dead! I severed your head from your shoulders! I killed you! My brothers and sisters of the United States of America, don't listen to that lying bitch! These Nazi fucks are all gonna get what's coming to them tonight. We are not gonna take it anymore. Americans, Americans, wherever you are, I wish I had words of comfort to give you, like the warm winds that this Nazi general sent down from above. But for me, you will not get comfort, only the cold, agonizing truth. And the truth is, this great nation has been raped and pillaged by the greatest enemy of our time. They ask you to sell your liberty, to purchase your safety, to kneel to the new order, to submit to the winds of change. But my fellow Americans, they that sow the wind shall reap the whirlwind. Preach. You were born in the land of the free. You fought the kings of old and broke them. You gave your lives for the simplest but most essential truth of all. Give me liberty or give me death. In your veins runs the blood of revolutionaries. So tonight, brandish your guns, your knives, and your fists. Seek out your oppressors wherever they are and tell them, we don't want nothing, not a thing from you. Tonight, we show those that sow the wind that we, we are the whirlwind. <laughs> 